Still to come on The Breakfast Show. We're going to be speaking with the adventurer Jordan Wiley, who's attempting a world first eco triathlon in the most sustainable way possible. Let's bring in our resident adventurer, should we, Jordan Wiley. Where are you, Jordan? Good morning from Pisa in Italy, Kay. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Why are you there? Uh, I'm just about to start my Tower Power 2024 challenge, um, a sustainable triathlon from um, the Leaning Tower of Pisa to the Eiffel Tower to my hometown of Blackpool, uh, all in aid of the Army Cadet Charitable Trust and in memory of little Jordan Banks, who, who tragically lost his life three years ago on a football pitch in, in Blackpool, Kay. So trying to raise as much funds and awareness as possible. Poor little man was uh, struck by lightning, I think. You're going via Paris as well? Yeah, so we're going to pop in and say hello to the Eiffel Tower K before we head back to the, our homeland, in fact, of Lancashire. Yeah, indeed. So now tell me why it's an eco triathlon. So I don't know if you can see there, Kay, but there's my bike behind me. Um, and that is a, the, probably the most sustainable bike on the planet. It's been made purely from coppice wood uh, from my local forest in Hampshire. So hazel, birch, um, and willow and um, all the panniers on the bike as well. They are made from recycled truck tarpaulin. Um, I'm eating vegan based plant food ration packs, which are compostable. Uh, I'm going to be sleeping, camping uh, in a sustainable tent. Uh, so, yeah, it's, 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 we're going to try and give a little bit more back to the planet than we're taking. Um, I'm certainly not suggesting I'm, you know, super green by any means. I've been a serial offender of of climate issues traveling around the world for many years, all seven continents, but I want to see what we can actually do from a sustainability perspective when we travel. Um, I also want to try and educate myself and educate young people with lots of uh, free online resources on the towerpower2024.com website. OK, so it's not just Jordan that you're cycling for, uh, Army Cadets as well, and also, as you said, to educate people about green issues. Yeah, super proud to be a national ambassador for the Army Cadets, which for me is one of the, the, the best sort of kept secrets in the United Kingdom and an amazing organisation uh, based on the principles of fun, friendship, action, adventure. We get young people outside, which is great for their mental well-being, their physical health. And we also teach them core values like respect, integrity, loyalty, courage, discipline, selfless commitment. So an amazing organisation. And I, I, I want to shout from the rooftops or the top of the tower uh, about them. Uh, how did you always have great ideas? How did you come up with this one? So, to be honest, Kay, you know, I, I, I live down south these days, and, and the, the community of Blackpool are always saying, you know, I need to, I need to do a little bit more up there. So, I, I wanted to do something that was quite innovative, creative. Um, I, I want to learn about sustainability more myself. And I've, I, I did terrible at school, to be honest. I struggled in a classroom, and I've always found the best way to learn is through the natural world and the outdoors. And uh, I, I wanted to, to, to head home to Blackpool to see the family, so, so I thought, let's start with a little adventure to do that. Uh, and how long is it going to take you? <laughs> That's a good question, Kay. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you remember, but four years ago, you asked me how long it would take to paddle around Britain, and I told you <laughs> 60 days, and I was still going after five months, so um, I'm not going to put, put, commit to a time frame, but I'd love to be, to be there middle of May, uh, but don't hold me to that. <laughs> and, and just tell us, because I'm sure viewers will be wondering, OK, he's got this bike... So he can cycle up to um, the channel and then he can cycle again in Dover up to Blackpool. How's he going to get across? So the, the, the amazing children across Hampshire, uh, part of the Winchester University sort of multi-academy trust, they've been collecting bottles, plastic recycled Coke bottles and water bottles for the last six months. Um, and a local archi a naval architect, Conrad Manning, he has made, uh, uh, I've not seen it yet, but he's made me a kayak made out of these recycled plastic bottles, uh, just like uh, Nick Coates from Beams has made me a bike made out of coppice wood. So um, I've, I've not tried and tested a lot of these things yet, so we're going to learn on the job, so to speak, but I'm really excited to get going. You told me you were never going to go on the waters around Britain again. <laughs> I might have told the little porky pie there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how, do, how do people follow your antics this time? Yeah, so um, the website, towerpower2024.com, um, you can track me live and see how far or, or maybe not how much progress I've made each day. Um, you, uh, you can also follow me on social media at Mr. Jordan Wiley. Um, and my amazing sponsors, David Mellor Family Jewelers, who, who enable me to do this adventure this year. I'd just like to say a big thank you to them uh, and all the other cadets out there as well, too. OK, for now. Uh, good luck, Jordan. Um, take it easy and keep in touch and let us know when you get to Paris. Uh, thank you for your amazing support, Kate. You and everyone at Sky News, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for joining us.
amazing guy, isn't he? Absolutely amazing. Let's